From standing in the U.S. Senate spotlight to representing American interests in China, Montana is never far from Max Baucus's mind. <laughs> go Montana, go Big Sky! We're gonna... After nearly four decades on Capitol Hill, Baucus became the U.S. Ambassador to China in March of 2014. It was then that the Montana wheels went in motion to turn up trade. We essentially started working on this trip when he was named uh, ambassador with the idea that with a market and a country this size and scale, um, to have sort of that advantage of the ambassador being from Montana and somebody that really cares about Montana can provide great benefits for us. Bacchus was a longtime advocate for trade with China, pushing strongly for the country's entry into the World Trade Organization in the late 90s. There were some forces back in the United States at the time. We thought that thing to do, arguing about China is not matured enough. My view is they're all wrong. That China is doing a terrific job. It's imminent sense. Look forward, not back. At 72, with wife Melody by his side, Bacchus shows no signs of slowing down. He's still a strong proponent of things that define Montana, such as agriculture, tourism, and education. And I'm just looking for ideas. There might be an opportunity for an exchange between ethnic studies and by um, Montana students in the Guangxi as well as a and he's not afraid to bring the Montana way to the People's Republic of China. In Montana, we always go by our first names. We're not governors, we're not senators. <laughs> <laughs> we're just Max and Steve. <laughs> On special assignment, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.